So there's eight nuclear power plants that are currently scheduled for early retirement, and there's 24 at risk for early retirement. So almost half of the nuclear power plants that are currently operating in the U.S. are at risk for closure. So if these plants close down, we can't just turn them back on. Some people in the industry will say, well, we're adding so much solar and wind and renewables to the electric grid that we don't need these nuclear power plants. When the reality is, Scott Madden's looking at the industry and kind of one step forward, two steps back, because we've added a number of renewables and the retirements of at-risk nuclear power plants are making those gains of adding renewables to our electric sector very, very small. If we care about reduction of carbon emissions in our electric power sector, then we really need both renewables and nuclear power to achieve any goals that we have. In our energy industry update, we're looking at all the implications, not just to our electric power sector, but also the economic and the reliability concerns of if nuclear power plants are phased out of our electric sector.